Welcome to Community Conversations. I'm Anna Gopian. And with me is my friend, Trish Williams. We're right. always talking about people that are affected by the disease of addiction. Everyone knows someone is just something that we, we say that, and mm -hmm. not surprising, not coincidentally. The, <laughs> one of the bad things about it is that so many people are silent about it. Mm. You know, they hold that in, they don't share it with mm -hmm. everybody. Like with the struggles that I was going through with Chris, mm -hmm. I didn't share that with you. I didn't really know you. I know. I shared it a little bit about, you know, with people I worked with. Mm -hmm. But when Chris, Chris died, mm -hmm. people came out of the woodwork at work and would talk to me in private about how their family members mm -hmm. were struggling. Ones, yeah. It was just about everybody I knew there. I always feel like people like check the room, you uh -huh. know what I mean? Or step back a little, talk a little quieter. Yes, yes. It still has a lot of um, like a grip and stigma, yep. you know? So yep. You felt that too? Yeah. And even with... So the prior to losing Chris, though, mm -hmm. right? There's the stigmas there, stigma, isolation, shame, guilt, all that trying to navigate before something's yep. even said. Yes. But that's just as detrimental as the disease. Yes. Well, I, what my struggle with that was basically trying to find help for him and mm -hmm. help for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a family disease that people don't want to admit that it's a family mm -hmm. disease, but it's really, really important to mm -hmm. deal with the family as a whole. People wouldn't talk to me about him because he was over 18. Mm -hmm. So wow. I couldn't really be much of an advocate for him because of that, mm -hmm. um, as much as I tried. I, I didn't know of support groups that I go, could go to. Mm -hmm. I didn't know of other people who were really in my position. Like I said, people I worked with mm -hmm. were, but never talked about it. Right. So I think today things have changed a bit, where there bit. are a bed, yeah, yeah. but there are more support groups. Yep. Yes. In the memorial quilt, like every mm -hmm. time I take it out and I see your son, uh -huh. it's it, it just warms my heart because I know everybody on there yes. in one way or another. Because again, when we pull community mm -hmm. together. It was wonderful making that quilt. Yes. Because um, I connected with so many other mm. parents who were remembering their children. Mm -hmm. You know, we just talked about our children when we made our, our squares for that mm -hmm. quilt. And you know, it was just such a wonderful thing because we talked about the beautiful qualities mm -hmm. that they had. You know, a lot of people won't even mention our children's names. Mm. You know, they find it very difficult to talk about our children. Mm -hmm. And it's almost as if they bring up their name. They, want, they don't want to upset anybody, you know, right. so they don't, they don't mention it, mm -hmm. which is more upsetting than actually talking about them. Yeah, we we love learning. to talk about our children. Right. We right. love to, you know, yeah. they were a gift to us, mm -hmm. you know, trying to remember them in the good times yeah. instead of, you know, just trying, not leaving them just with the memory of what took their lives. Mm -hmm.